Sadama so State Governor Amadou Umar of Interi has joined friends and well wishes to felicitate his Chief of Staff, Dr. Edgar Amos Sunday, as he celebrated his 60th birthday and successful retirement from the civil service. Governor Amadou Umar of Interi awards the special guest of honor at the event which was held at the Banquet Hall Government House was represented by his deputy, Professor Kali Tapwa George Farota. He describes Dr. Edgar Amos as a hard-working person who is always achieving goals and targets given to him at any time. We show the best as the government. We also wish you that the sixth floor will open more doors of blessings. For those who are already on the floor, I think if you look at them, there are things you might like and there are things you might not like. But I'm glad that for all of them that came up here to say they are already on the sixth floor, they could climb these staircases and went down on their own. <laughs> so we wish you that strength that as you climb the staircases of this life in your sixth floor, God will continue to guide you. And Dr. Edgar has proven that he can be trusted by delivering the target he's given. And I think that is why he's moving steadily from where he is in his welcome address, the chairman of the occasion and former secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, described Dr. Edgar Amos as a hard-working person who is always up to the task assigned to him. My various interaction with Edgar, and this spans almost two and a half to three decades. I have found him a reliable, honorable, and dedicated person. I was a friend, brother, partner, or boss. They are sure that he will never disappoint you. I see him as a lion in pursuing his objectives and a sheep in appreciating efforts of subordinates. Delivering lectures on a topic, identity, diversity, and solidarity, Professor Omar Patei said, achieving national unity and integration in diversity revolves around equality for all, equity, fairness, social justice, and good governance. The Friday State Index for 2024, which is the global index rating uh, platform, rated Nigeria as the 15th least fragile, I'm sorry, least civil nations in the world after Somalia, Yemen, Sudan, South Sudan, Central Africa, and a few more. The country is segmented on the lines of politics, religion, ethnicity, and social economic differences. Respectively, these diversities and contradictions like ideology, religion, regionalism, ethnicity, and politics of resource allocation or resource control, power sharing, and other divisive national tendencies are reflected and debated in the country without visible quick resolutions. All human beings united in the kingdom of humanity. And we are all agreed. 